all original inside. Beautiful truck and a fine job. Allen just takes it right out of the gate. So forces it into a pull-off. Ken Ewan with the Oklahoma Warrior and the Orange Blossom Special 3 out the gate. There's a shot of Alan Gaines, and no, he's not so poor he can't afford shoes or boots, but he actually drives the trucks without any shoes on. He's got three of them, and he'll drive each and every one of them without his shoes. He feels like that he can actually feel the truck better. He knows more what the throttle's doing by driving barefooted, and he's done it for years, and it, how can you knock it? He's a very successful puller. So it's time for the pull-off. Ken Guin of Oklahoma City will go first. They go into the pull-off in the order that they accomplished the pull-off. Ken being first puller and first person to take it out. He'll take it and come back again. Now, the sled will be heavier. The box will come up faster, transferring and making it harder to pull. But Ken will really get on hard. That's a good pull for Kenneth. A really good pull. Motor's heating up with it. Just coming off of a, another full pull, he's getting a little steam out of the engine, but it doesn't hurt anything, a little blow by. So Kenny Guin, the first person in the pull-off competition, a 168-foot pull, four and a half inches. That's the mark that Alan Gaines of Georgetown, Kentucky will have to beat. Alan Gaines of Georgetown, Kentucky with a mark of 168 feet, four and a half inches to beat. The question is, can he do it? OBS, Orange Blossom Special, and he is tough. He's the current leader and will be, he wins this class, the 1987 national champion in the two-wheel drive class for the United States Hot Rod Association. Allen is strong. Now, this mark to beat is nothing to, nothing to see that. That's going to take a good, hard pull. The weight box is coming up the ramp real fast. The track is tearing up. It's rutting up a little bit. Allen at a disadvantage following Kenneth because the track is not as good as it was for Kenneth. But I think that he could probably put one together. It'll know in just a moment. He's really running good tonight. Oklahoma Warrior, of course, beautiful job with that truck. Ken Yun did a great job. Let's see what happens. Alan Gain rolls the slack out of the chain, and he knows he needs to go past the 168.4 mark. If he can, he'll take it all the way out. close with JP. We'll have to wait on a measurement to find out. Now, they very, very close in competition. Those two trucks running exceptionally well tonight. Mike, how much closer can you get it? The winner is going to be Alan Gaines at 169.2. He won it by 10 inches. There's Kenneth and Allen visiting, and Allen, the new national champion. Of course, Kenneth would be the first one there to congratulate him. Both of these people, great competitors. Allen wins a brand new Ford truck for his campaigning all year long, plus many other prizes on the Ford Budweiser Circuit of Champions. And the two-wheel drive class belongs to Allen Gaines, the man on the left. They're setting the sled for the tractor competition, and we'll be back to call that for you in just a moment from the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. This event is brought to you in part by Rizlon. It keeps the internal engine parts clean and free of sludge. As root loan to your motor oil today and keep the engine in top performance. His two children, Dusty, will compete against her father in this class. And her son drives the beautiful blue jet funny car sitting behind that tractor on the sideline. And he will be running an exhibition pass a little bit. They're getting up to operating capacity. There's the lights and the fire of the green monster. He calls this the two-headed monster, and you'll see why when he gets the green flag. There comes Art Arfon, lit and ready. Art having a real tough time, a real rough ride. But Art Arfon really has to fight it hard. But a beautiful pull ends up out the gate. Through dirt all the way over the sled back onto the rider. 
Watch Art when he leaves. Fire coming out of the jets. He knows he's ready to go with it right there. The tire speed is tremendous. He's probably spinning the tires close to 100 miles an hour as he leaves with it. Wide open and heads up down the track. Lifts it up in the front end and a beautiful pass. Now, I know Art would like to have another 100 pounds on the front of the tractor. The front are way too high on the front end. And Art having a real tough time riding it out. He's touching the brakes, bringing it around, and keeping it on the track, inbound. Way high in the air for Art Arfon, but the power's there. And look at the tire speed. A beautiful pass for Art Arfon's Green Monster. So the Green Monster does get credit for the full pull. A rough ride, but the full ride nonetheless for Art Arfon's of Akron, Ohio. We're here with David Williams, the executive director for the Houston Food Bank. And David, the Houston Food Bank stands to really benefit by tonight's action. Yeah, we're real excited. Uh, you know, we estimate that for every dollar that's donated to the food bank, we're able to distribute about $25 worth of food. So we're really excited. We feel that we can, we can take uh, donations of money and, and really have a, a big impact in the community. How serious is, is the problem here in Houston? Well, it's extremely serious. Uh, we have seen in the last four or five years uh, an incredible number of people having to resort to food pantries and soup kitchens uh, to survive. Uh, people that four years ago were doing perfectly fine, had good jobs, uh, but have been laid off. And so we have seen a, a dramatic increase. Uh, these pantries that are operated by volunteers a couple of years ago served 40 to 50 people per month, now serve four to 5,000 people per month. So it's a very serious problem. Can you tell us what a crowd like this will do for you money-wise tonight? What could you hope to generate? Well, we're, uh, we know that, uh, that the sponsors are going to donate about $1,500. And then we hope that uh, through the announcements that will be going on throughout the, uh, throughout the show that individuals will be interested in, in contributing also. In addition to money, we also, uh, of course, need food, but also time. Uh, volunteers donate over 1,000 hours per month, and so uh, that's important too. So the fans are not only enjoying tonight's competition, but they're contributing to a very worthy cause as well, the Houston Food Bank.